Hello, my name is Angela Bond and this is Plum Rose Publishing. I wanted to talk to you today about visuals from preschool through the 12th grade. So when we ta are talking about the VPK or we're talking about ESE classes, we want to use visuals. So what I do is I make on um, cards, I make what I, we're doing so it could say have a pretty picture of percussion instruments as percussion or uh, just some kind of visual of maybe somebody writing something for comp composing. So I'll have the word there and a visual and I will lamina la <laughs> laminate them <laughs> and put Velcro so that when my lesson changes I can just put it on a big board and Velcro each one um, the different order. So I'll have the greeting song and then on the card and then I'll have, it'll say song and then I'll say theory or whatever, activity, percussion. And this is a way that they can see it and it really gives a lot of students, especially the ones that really need the control of the environment to be steady and stable and to have a routine, it gives them that so they know what is coming next. So, and it will say just, you know, first and then the card, then the card, then the card, and then last, the card. So, um, the, so that's for the younger kids because they can't read. And so you're really helping them just to associate that with what we're doing. And you can even tell them at the end, so we did this, and then second we did that, and now we had our closing song. So that shows them what they're doing and that this is part of the structure. So for kindergarten through the fifth grade, you can get a eight by 10, like pretty paper and just put it, um, prints on and laminate saying dynamics. So on my previous video, I was speaking about lesson planning and how every month is broken down to maybe a different thing like rhythm, dynamics, pitch, melody, instruments, composing, performance. So you can take those cards, laminate them, and put them up on your uh, dry erase board, and it would be a, serve as a visual that this is what we're working on. So you can always refer back to it, or they can look at it as they go through the day. Okay, dynamic. and even ask them, say, what is dynamic? And then if they get it right, give them a sticker or something, a prize, so that they're really interested in knowing what the word dynamic is. So this is something that you may have to review a little bit throughout the year too. So always surprise sticker quizzes are um, always really helpful for that kind of incentive. So, and then for the older uh, students, so when we get into middle and high school, you, it was really helpful to write down the, what you're doing. You can state uh, for kindergarten all the way through 12th grade, the question, the big question of how are instruments, you know, made or how do, we, uh, what is the sound principle of the instruments that, that we're using? What is the composer's, uh, you know, the importance of Mozart or anything that they, that you want to uh, ask? How can we self-assess, you know, the music that we're doing for concert? So anything like that that you want to ask, write it up on the board. And also it's very helpful to have a song order if you're maybe doing choir or you're doing maybe some kind of band or something orchestra so you can have that song order available to them so, so that you can always, they can refer to that and they can get their music ready ahead of time. This saves you a lot of time. So, and there's always a procedure, right, where they would be able to see that board and they can also find out, you know, okay, I'm doing this, I need to get my pencil out, or I need to go do this, or I need to sit here. So this is a really good thing to have. So I hope this helped you, and I'll have more tips. You can subscribe to my channel. My name is Angela Bond, and um, you can go to my website, plum-rose-publishing.com, 
or visit my Amazon store. <laughs> there is a beep there, so I'll say that again. You can visit my Amazon store. Take care. Bye-bye.